I'm going to show you how to fix your bed leveling screws so they don't turn on you before putting on your uh, flexible magnetic base. Now I'm doing this to an Ender 3 Pro new kit before I build it, doing it right before I start assembling everything. You could retrofit this and do this to an older uh, printer, no problem. So I'll try to explain to you what we're going to need and then how we do it. I like to use a thread locker. There's the blue one, it's removable, which means you can get it to a certain heat and remove it. You can get the permanent one. You're going to need a, um, a wrench, Phillips head screwdriver, nuts that are appropriate for your leveling screws, some washers, and I also like to swap out the springs if you do have the cheap round section springs for the nice flat section, a little bit more robust spring so I can keep my bed from wobbling. Um, one more thing that I usually do after I'm done with this is also insulate the bottom of the bed and uh, I could send you a link to other videos of how to do it after this. So let's get down to it. First thing I did was I dismounted my heated bed from the unit. Um, I did peel off Creality Sends their heated beds with a cheap magnetic sheet, um, very thin doesn't resist high temperature either. I think it resists 70 or 80 degrees, so you can't print anything other than PLA. And it's thin, it's not very strong. I'm gonna be putting on the Wham Bam flexible um, system. So I took that off, I cleaned the surface. Now my screws are free floating. Why, why do I worry about putting on these backing nuts? Because the screws are free floating, and when we put on the flexible magnetic base, you're gonna be making it so that these screw heads are not accessible anymore. And you don't want them ever twisting on you later down the line. So this is just a simple precaution to take to make sure those screws are not going to twist on us. So all we're going to do is we're going to drop on and be very careful, by the way, of your heater cables where they're soldered on. We don't want to stress that area. We don't want to break any of the solder joints uh, until you get that back on. So I'm going to drop on a washer on each one of these. I'm going to free thread a nut pretty far down, not all the way, because I want to drop in some of the thread locker. Okay. Actually, I'm bring these a little bit further down to hand tighten. We'll tighten by wrench afterwards. Nice and simple. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to one at a time put a drop of thread locker on it while cinching these things down. So try to keep the thread locker at the very bottom of the thread. You don't want to go on the top because you don't want it creating interference with actual adjustment of your bed leveling knobs. There we go. I don't even need the screwdriver from the other end. This one held pretty well. I'll do that to each one of these. You don't have to over tighten, just get it tight enough that these things are not going to move over a period of time. Okay. You might want to get some paper towel and dry this stuff off. Go ahead and just make sure your screws are really tight. You can give it another left twist if you want to. Those are really well ground in there. The wrench did a good job. I need the screwdriver. 
This one felt a little bit looser. Okay, one last inch. Okay, get some paper towel and make sure that I take off any excessive thread locker. I don't want that stuff dripping down the other way and gumming up my nice thread. Now, if you're using your old springs and you find that it's too distanced with this nut, you could always flare the bottom. But these new springs are about the same length. I'm just going to try these out. If I find that I just don't have enough room to compress, I could always trim them down. So I get these all on. In the case of the Creality machines with the cable protector. And get that back on there. Okay. And we are ready to turn this over and put it on the machine. That part of the video is done. Before I put this on my machine, I am going to insulate it for heat. And I'll do that as a separate video. Thank you.